I'm Cheryl Packwood, CEO of Business Bermuda. Welcome to the Nexus Online Quarterly Review. In this short video, we review some of the fascinating articles you can read in full in our downloadable newsletter, Nexus. Business Bermuda continues to work aggressively to raise the profile of the island as the jurisdiction of choice for financial services and international business. We recently unveiled the updated Economic Impact Study for 2010. This report assesses Bermuda's economic relationship with the U.S., Europe, and Asia. This report proves that Bermuda has become more prominent relative to other economies in its trade with all these markets. The full report can be downloaded from our website. Business Bermuda is active in its marketing of Bermuda by attending conferences and holding events where we can further extend and build our relationships. You can find full details of all the conferences and events we attend on our website. I encourage you to read the Nexus newsletter in full for all the latest developments and opportunities affecting Bermuda. Bermuda has a long-standing commitment to knowing its clients. For over 60 years, Bermuda has had in place legislation to deter unacceptable persons from doing business from or within Bermuda. That framework has been updated and expanded over the years. And now, Bermuda has in place a comprehensive regime to combat money laundering and terrorist financing and to deal with the challenges of proliferation financing. Our current framework has allowed us to achieve a high level of compliance with the international requirements and to address the risks from these unacceptable activities in a domestic and global context. As the article highlights, Bermuda has a well-deserved reputation as a quality international financial center. And the government, regulatory agencies and industry are committed to working together to ensure that Bermuda's anti-money laundering and anti-terrorist financing regime continues to be strong and effective. Bermuda presents a unique opportunity to support the creation and development of Islamic financial products such as Ritakaful, Sharia compliant funds and Sukuk. It offers the same advantages for Islamic financial products as it does for conventional products. It is an excellent and very stable platform from which a promoter can confidently launch, manage and administer Sharia compliant private equity and global infrastructure funds. Our limited partnership structure accommodates both Mudaraba and Musharaka. The specific requirements of either structure can easily be incorporated into the fund's constitutional documents. Bermuda structures are also suitable for parallel vehicles to accommodate both Muslims and non-Muslim investors. Bermuda is well positioned to emerge as an Islamic finance hub in the Western Hemisphere. My name is Clive Langley and I'm an associate here at Appleby. I'm part of the firm's banking and asset finance team within the corporate and commercial practice group. A large proportion of my practice focuses specifically on aviation and shipping finance transactions and registrations. This area of international business is relatively unknown to the general public, as reinsurance seems to get all the attention. But recently it was brought into the local and international press when the UK questioned the expansion of the Bermuda Register of Aircraft. The Premier, the Honourable Dr. Ewart Brown, stood to the defence of the register, which brings a significant, if relatively unknown, revenue stream to the government, and also provides employment in the public and private sector to people such as myself. There are various reasons for selecting Bermuda as the jurisdiction of choice for parties seeking to register their aircraft and ships. Firstly, we offer a neutral tax jurisdiction, so exempt companies pay no income withholding capital gains or transfer taxes. Bermuda is politically and economically stable, with no exchange control or currency restrictions. Bermuda is also listed as an OECD whitelist jurisdiction. It is inevitable that in order to maintain a competitive edge, Bermuda must keep pace with the demands of hotel development change in the tourism industry. Government's first step in this process was to enact the Hotel Concessions Act 2000, with tax reliefs as a vehicle to stimulate hotel development investment. The government then established the Cabinet Committee on Special Hotel Development with the primary purpose of creating a one-stop shop for hotel developers. 
we are very pleased to report over the past 18 months, several new hotel projects were launched. These included the magnificent Tucker's Point Hotel, the Newstead Belmont Hills, as well as the Reefs. All three of these projects were created with a fractional component to them. We anticipate much more to come. Park Hyatt will surely be making an announcement of their major development project in St. George's, and the Nine Beaches will commence reconstruction of their property to be completed by the end of 2011. There are also exciting projects planned with the Parleville Hotel in Hamilton, the Four Seasons project on the Coral Beach property, as well as the Cocoa Reef development slated to commence in 2011. All of this augurs very well for the long-term viability of Bermuda's hotel product.